This is going to be a straight to the point, short video that I need y'all to pay close attention to. Listen, if you're dating somebody, it's like a roller coaster up and down. Stop telling people about those down moments. I know you want to call your homegirls. I know you want to call your homeboy. I know you want to call your sisters, your brothers. But what you're doing, you're making these people hate these people. And you're, you're starting drama when you know you're going to go back. It's nobody business what y'all going through, the bad y'all going through. Some people talk so much shit about their significant other that they can't even talk to their significant other around the people that they talking shit to. Let me explain. If a girl go home and tell her sister, her brother, her cousins, her mama, her friends, her exes, I can't stand this nigga. I'm done with this nigga. This nigga actually called me a bitch. Fuck that nigga. That's going to make everybody mad at you. Then she forgive you and come back. And then she come back a month too late and say, this nigga ain't shit, this is that. What's happening is the family in her circle is building hate. And you want the circle to love you. Not meaning kissing ass. You want the circle to love you. And I break that down to y'all real fast. Like, for example, a female I'm talking to, her sister smoke a lot of blood. I called her sister when she was here, told her sister, I'm finna send her a big block of blood. Blood. For YouTube purpose, let's say blood. So... Anyway, her sister been texting me saying, you the shit. She been telling her sister, you the shit. So she told her boyfriend about me. He want to get some bud. Um, the other per I don't sell bud, you guys. I don't sell bud. I'm not incriminating myself on here. So anyway, that, that was giving away. So anyway, on top of that, then the mama called. was like, damn, I know how to get in good with the family. See, and press the people around the woman. The woman care more about the people around her eyes and ears. She would rather her mama and sister them think you sexy and them to think that you uh, is a manly alpha male rather she think. She don't care what she think. She care about what other people think. I'm sorry. Most women are like that. Majority of women. So with that said, guys, ladies, stop telling your friends and family when you and your significant other are going through bad times because you're making yourself look stupid. Every time you forgive her or forgive him, People are looking at you like, oh, man. Then after your fourth or fifth time doing it, it's like the little boy, little girl that cried wolf. People going to stop believing this shit. They're going to be like, this bitch lying. This nigga ain't shit. You going to have people dying. There's so many people in prison or in jail now behind somebody just telling somebody something petty and they were going to forgive them. My last story I'm going to tell y'all this real shit. Y'all ain't never heard that old saying. If a guy beat a woman, sometimes you just got to let it go. Because if you go beat his ass, she'll get mad at you for beating his ass. She'll get mad at you for protecting her. I have literally went to one of my sisters. I ain't going to say which one. And I whooped the fuck out her boyfriend. She got mad at me and told me never talk to her again because I beat him for beating her. I swear to God I can't make this up. If y'all know somebody like that, like, comment, subscribe. Let's run this channel up. I'll holler. Gang.